hey boys and girls, it's Miss Kathy. I've got a great book to share with you today, and it's all about a little raccoon that's a little bit nervous about going to school. And you know, school is starting soon, so I hope that if you have a little bit of nervousness about you, about going to school, that maybe after I read this book to you, you'll feel a little bit better. But it's called The Kissing Hand, and it's by Audrey Penn. Now, in parts of the story, it talks about Chester, and he's the little raccoon here, and he goes to school at nighttime. And that's different between you and me because we're humans, and we are awake during the daytime, but most animals are awake while we're sleeping, which makes them nocturnal. It means they play around at nighttime. So Chester goes to school at night. The Kissing Hand by Audrey Penn. Chester Raccoon stood at the end of the forest and cried. I don't want to go to school, he told his mother. I want to stay with you. I want to play with my friends and play with my toys and read my books and swing on my swing. Please, may I stay home with you? Mrs. Raccoon took Chester by the hand and nuzzled him on the ear. Sometimes we all have to do things we don't want to do, she told him gently, even if they seem strange and scary at first. But you will love school once you start. You'll make new friends and play with new toys and read new books and swing on new swings. Besides, she said, I know a wonderful secret that will make your nights at school seem as warm and cozy as your days at home. Chester wiped away his tear and looked interested. A secret? What kind of secret? A very old secret, said Mrs. Raccoon. I learned it from my mother, and she learned it from hers. It's called the kissing hand. The kissing hand, asked Chester. What's that? Well, I'll tell you, said Mrs. Raccoon. She took Chester's left hand and spread open his tiny fingers into a fan. Leaning forward, she kissed Chester right in the middle of his palm. Chester felt his mother's kiss rush from his hand, up his arm, and into his heart. And even his silky black mask tingled with a special warmth. Mrs. Raccoon smiled. Now! She told Chester, whenever you feel lonely and need a little loving from home, just press your hand to your cheek and think, Mommy loves you. Mommy loves you. And that very kiss will jump to your face and fill you with toasty, warm thoughts. She took Chester's hand and carefully wrapped his fingers around his kiss. Now, do be careful not to lose it, she teased him. But don't worry. When you open your hand and wash your food, I promise the kiss will stick. Chester loved his kissing hand, and now he knew his mother's love would go with him wherever he went, even to school. That night, Chester stood in front of his school and looked thoughtful. Suddenly, he turned to his mother and grinned. Give me your hand, he told her. Chester took his mother's hand in his own hand and unfolded her large, familiar fingers into a fan. And next he leaned forward and kissed the center of her hand. Here we go. Now you have a kissing hand, too, he told her. And with a gentle goodbye... And a, I love you, Chester turned and danced away.
Mrs. Raccoon watched Chester scamper, scamper across the tree limb and enter school. And as the hoot owl rang in the new school year, she pressed her hand into her cheek and smiled. The warmth of Chester's kiss filled her heart with special words. Chester loves you, he sang. Chester loves you. Look at all the animals at night school. I love you. I sure would like to give you a kissing hand, but you should get a special one just from your mom or dad on the very first day that you go to school this year. I love you. Bye, class.